Hello, I'm Toy Cat, and welcome back to another third channel video. Today, I'm here in not McDonald's, Texas, but instead in the McDonald's of Texas. This is Whataburger, as you can see from the it does, uh, there you go, as you can see from the packaging, and this is uh, the Texas fast food chain. Every single person I spoke to about Texas is like, go to a Whataburger. So what I've got myself here is a patty melt. It literally looks like a grilled cheese, but with two cheese, uh, you know, patty, but uh, I guess burgers of some form. We've got some Swiss cheese in there. And then also, the other thing people insist you have to try is a, uh, a, a PM, it, it's got chicken in there, it's got honey, it's got barbecue. There's so many flavors and everyone's like, you've got to try it while it's here. So we got this, we got the ketchup, we got the spicy ketchup, we got the fries, and we got the world piece. Side note, look at the size of this drink. This is my hand. I don't have small hands. I'm not trying to mess with you here. This is the size of a large drink in the US of A. It's a medium. This is a medium. <laughs> <laughs> is this legitimately a medium? Wait, wait, wait. This is legitimately a medium. Yep. They're not messing with you. It's not a root 44. I don't oh my god. <laughs> so I've got a medium... A medium... <laughs> it's, it's both my hands together. This is large for a large. Okay, anyway, uh, so we've got a world piece that is on my hands right now. And I'm going to try all of it right now with you, the camera. Mmm. So this is a patty melt. Mm. The bread is already good. This is burger quality bread. It's Texas toast. This what? Texas toast. What's Texas toast? Tell me this. Describe That's, it to me. This is Texas toast. Just what a giant it piece Texas of bread. Because it's like it, it tastes like a burger. It's got the same qualities, the same saltiness, the same like burger kind of punch to it. It's square, which is kind of weird, but the flavor otherwise is there. There's some cheese between the batties, and oh, mm. it comes out. There's even some sauce of some form. How's line dressing, I think, Big Mac sauce. Oh, for, a, for a two pieces of bread and some patties, this is so good. Mm. This is killing me. This is so good, it's legitimately killing me. But this is not my only sandwich today. Uh, they call them sandwiches here in Texas. So my second sandwich is the... Is it always square bread? Is that the... That's Texas twist? toast, yeah. In Texas, we like our sandwiches square. So I got my second... I can't do that. Uh, I got my second sandwich here. It's chicken strips. Uh, it's some form of cheese. And then it's barbecue sauce. And then we have some honey as well. It's a lot of flavors. But how good are all of those flavors together? Let's find out. It's big. It's really big. I had to like unhinge my jaw like a snake there. <laughs> but for a chicken burger, that is good actually. That is really good for a chicken burger. It tastes like you're actually eating like two, you know, McDonald's strips or whatever between a, a good bit of toast too. Like the burger quality toast, two pieces of chicken. The cheese is gone. There's no cheese in my in my taste buds at all. There's no honey. There's no barbecue. But as far as the base that was gone, it's pretty good. Let's try and get a second mouthful. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. That's the stuff. That's what I'm talking about. When the barbecue sauce starts pouring in, there's a whole new flavor. It's not just oh yeah, great bread, great chicken, great cheese. Some barbecue pouring in. I don't know why it's called honey chicken. Maybe that's like the breading type or whatever. But this is a seriously good sandwich. And how many dollars is it? If you have to guess, I didn't. I didn't look. I was not in charge of the buying today. Six. So I mean, this was five dollars and nineteen cents. Does that sound right? Yeah. This was as someone who bought this myself, eight dollars and thirty-four for a meal, which includes the world piece and the fries there. Are you leaking? So what burger fries? I haven't tried one yet. I'm so sure they are McDonald's fries. Everything about these is identical to McDonald's. Even the, the literal shaker they come in. Yeah, it's, it's literally a McDonald's fry shaker. But because we're in Texas, I like Independence fries. These are gonna taste real good. No, they're crispy. Okay. Could be my state of mind or something, but like... Try the ketchup. These are way, way crispier. These are like... Admittedly, they're not quite McDonald's fries, but they're better in some ways in that they've got more of a crispy taste. Are you going to force me to dip in the... This is my second hand, by the way. I've got a camera person who helps me with these videos. 
So the ketchup here is so rich. So rich. That's so sugary. But then there's the spicy ketchup. I've had so many Texas friends tell me, take some of this on. It's that good. Let's find out. Ooh, that spice is good. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay. Because mm. you're my fries. There's no napkins around, but <laughs> my god, that spicy ketchup. Admittedly, it's ketchup, which is already really good, but with that little extra tang. But that extra tang, that takes it to a whole new level. Oh, that is, um, to try and describe it in words. It's it's not just spiciness, it's tanginess. It's like the the, the good bit of tomato. It's tomato square. It is a whole new level. And then finally, we got the wall piece, which is what you call it when you mix four or more flavors together. All the flavors together. <laughs> I've got some Texans disagreeing with me about the definition of world peace, which of course they disagree with. <laughs> Am I right? Internet points. Thank you very much. So, this just tastes like sugar, which is all I need in the world. Maybe you can dunk it and fry in it. Is that a thing you do? That tastes like sugar as well. I'd rather the, the spicy ketchup though. So overall, what's a burger? I'm gonna give it like a, as far as regional fast food chains go, it's not quite in, it's not quite in and out. It's not quite a five guys. What it does have going for it is Texas toast. That is something I've never tried in Rouse, and I don't think I will try in Rouse. It's burger bread, but toast. How do they do it? What's the secret? I'm gonna go find out uh, in, in the future. I feel like, I mean, a lot of looks not to do that right now. But thank you very much for watching. Bird channel, get out of my house, go away. Goodbye. <laughs>